Hello and welcome to this week's update. I'm a little bit frazzled this time around because I had originally planned to work in a flute progress update, as you can see. I've got my old friend there behind me, but I just cannot in good conscience inflict an irretrievably out of tune flute onto the interwebs. So I'm going to have to find someone who knows what they're doing, give uh, this flute maybe a little spa day, a bit of TLC, change its cork, um, and hopefully once it's sounding a bit more like a flute normally should, I will be able to then incorporate it into the vlog properly. So instead of a flute update, I have been trying to nut out what I can talk about instead. And look, Chester, are you proud of me? Notes. I got frazzled into writing myself some notes. Hopefully I will stick to them, but no promises. One thing that has come up over the past week has been my singing practice regimen. And so I thought that would be a uh, good thing to sort of cover in this week's vlog update instead of fluting. At the moment, well, not at the moment, for the past few months, my um, practice regimen has basically been daily sessions of minimum 30 minutes, maximum 120 minutes um, of initially 30 to 40 minutes of warm ups and exercises that I've received from my singing instructor, Emily, followed by another 30 to 60 minutes of singing along to, um, some of my practice, favorite practice tunes on YouTube. So I've got, you know, 10 to 12 songs that I really love singing along to in a YouTube playlist. And that's what I uh, sort of tackle after my warm ups. And then after that, if I'm working on one of my own original songs, I'll um, move on to that, um, maybe cutting the YouTube sing along session a little bit shorter so that I can um, work on my own song. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's currently what I've been doing for better or for worse. Um, Interestingly, I think I've been tending to peak, and again, this is just my own self-perception, but I've been tending to peak at around the one hour mark in terms of, you know, by that point, I think I've worked out all any of the graininess or little burrs. I don't know what the technical terms are. They're probably not a good sign, um, but I've sort of worked out any little burrs or graininess that's willing to be worked out in that session. Um not all of it is, so that, that's where I'm probably, um, you know, that's surely a sign that I'm either, you know, my technique is incorrect in certain ways or I'm overdoing it or some combination thereof or something I'm not even aware of. Um, yeah, so I've definitely got a lot of work to do and a lot of self-awareness to develop. It's very interesting because I'm trying to work past patterns that I've established throughout my whole life as, um, you know, someone who's been very athletic and a lot of those sort of athlete focused habits in terms of breathing and posture and persistence, um, and paying attention to physical sensations. It's hugely, hugely different. I'm finding, um, for vocal training versus sort of normal, normal for me, physical training. So for example, and this is something that em Emily used as an example, um, earlier in the week was splits over the years. I've been doing splits for 30 plus years. I can tell to a very nuanced degree how far to push myself, where the stretch ends and the actually doing damage to yourself begins. I can perceive that because I've developed over, you know, three decades, a very nuanced perception and awareness of that part of my body, but I've never done vocal training before. I've got no idea what the signals are, what the warning signs are, how things are meant to feel. So I'm just trying to incorporate all of these disparate pieces of information that have no real scaffolding in my pre-existing neural processes, if that makes sense. So for example, I, I'm really struggling to tell when the nice warm, languid feeling of when I think I'm at my optimal zone for my current abilities in terms of singing versus when that warmth sort of turns a bit warmer and becomes 
I am now going to sound like a dude who chain smokes for the next three days. <laughs> I, I can't tell that, that threshold point. I think I have an idea and then I will wake up the next day and sound like a dude who chain smokes and it, it won't be ideal. And I've been, <laughs> I've been trying to work out how I can communicate this to Emily without getting instantly slapped. And I've, I've figured that if I force a time interval between when I, when I say this and when I'm next in slapping distance, it might save my cheeks, but we'll see how we go. So anyway, I'm still tr struggling to um, develop that sort of bodily awareness and um, hopefully I will not damage myself too badly as I establish that degree of self-awareness. I am one of those people who will push and push and generally my learning process does involve injuring myself in some way, but hopefully it will not be permanent damage <laughs> and um, and. Emily will not just wash her hands with me and be like, get out. I love you, Emily. Um, so anyway, moving on, let's have a look at my YouTube playlist, shall we? And we'll, uh, we'll see what I've been singing along to. And again, I would really love um, any suggestions of other songs that I should learn or try out. Um, at the moment, I'm starting out with um, sort of lower register, you know, classics like we've got here. As we can see, Kenny Rogers is at the top of the list. And um, that is seriously, if, if my life had a theme song, it would be The Gambler by Kenny Rogers here. Um, I, a, a lot of people probably have, you know, songs that just resonate so well or just match so perfectly with a self-perceived element of life or personality or something. Um, Kenny Rogers is, is my life theme song. Similarly, um, you could, I could probably say Little Wing by Jimi Hendrix. If that song were perceived to be an appropriate eulogy for me in the minds of anyone who noticed I was gone, then that to me would be a perfect sign that I've lived my life well. Um, so there you go. Welcome to my psyche. The second song there is Into the Mystic by Van Morrison. Now that one is another absolutely brilliant song that I just adore and also is apparently the almost unofficial theme song or anthem for the Sovereign Family according to my cousin Sarah. Um, I can't even remember when or how this came up but she was explaining to me that independently of each other, not even realizing that we all loved this song to bits. Um, Sarah found out that, yeah, all sovereigns love, <laughs> love Into the Mystic by Van Morris. I, I might be using all very loosely, but I, who could dislike this song? Seriously, it's a freaking amazing song. Anyway, I will actually sing that song at the end of this video, just to incorporate a little bit of music into this, uh, you know, music vlog update for, for this week. So stay tuned if you want to hear me sing my family anthem. Then number three, we've got uh, The Deepest Sighs, The Frankest Shadows by the Australian band Gang of Youths. This is another brilliant song that I just can't get enough of. Um, I am one of those people who will actually put a song on repeat for an entire day and just have it playing in the background while I work from home or do chores or something like that. And then, you know, eight hours later, be like, oh, that song's still on. Hey, cool. It's a pretty awesome song. Um, yeah, that's me. I'm that person. And I've definitely done that with uh, with this song, Gang of Youths, Deeper Size, Frankest Shadows. Then number four, we have got um, the acoustic version of Quad Horizon by a Melbourne-based band called Chino Satin. This song, I have to admit, is Pretty much, it was the deciding factor in me finally learning how to play guitar. I just heard this song and something about it was just so mesmerizing to me. I was like, I'm going to learn how to play this song. I'm going to learn how to sing this song. I will cover this song one day. And so I guess I had better get across that whole learning to play guitar thing, right? So yeah, that was, that was my deciding factor. <laughs> then we've got 
Every Day is a Winding Road by Sheryl Crow. Such a fun song to sing. I cannot get enough of singing this song either. It is just a 90s classic. Um, super, super fun. Then after Ms. Crow, we've got Adele, Rolling in the Deep. That one, I although I can't really get behind the message, it is another song that is super fun just to sing. And I guess it's a bit of a nod to my shadow self in this list as well, because whenever I sing along to it, I'm like, yeah, damn right, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then <laughs> we've got Blake Shelton, God's Country. That song is just so mesmerizing. It just, it, there's something about his voice and the execution and, you know, it's got really solid lyrics. It's a brilliant, brilliant song. Highly recommend it. And I just love singing it. Then we've got Alana Miles, Black Velvet, which I actually sang in a previous update on this vlog. And I've made a lot of good progress since then, I think, in my own opinion. I think it's, it's coming along really well. Um, still a lot of work to do, of course, um, but yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how that's progressing. And then we've got Gimme Sympathy by the Toronto-based band called Metric. And man, that's just a nostalgia trip, that one. It reminds me of back in uni, you know, engineering undergrad days when I would go with my friends to their gigs. It was so much fun. And then finally, in the final place in the list, we've got Florence and the Machine Dog Days Are Over. Holy moly, that um, to me is like an Olympic gymnastics routine compared to my current vocal abilities and is actually the song that is responsible for me sounding like a dude who chain smokes for three days afterwards. I kind of overdid it trying to sing this song, but and yeah, it, it is such a hard song to sing for me. It, when I eventually learn how to sing it, it will be a glorious day. But until that time... How about I stick to, um, at least for, for internet for use, all songs that are a little more possible for me. And um, I will now sing along to the unofficial Sovereign Family Anthem, aka Into the Mystic by Van Morrison. <laughs> 